so it's three o'clock in the morning. We organized for a driver to come and pick us up from the village at three to take us to the volcano for the sunrise. And uh, he hasn't turned up yet. We're not sure if he will turn up, but we're just waiting around. They have like a new rule in tourism that if they say they're gonna do something, they have to do it. Um, and that's kind of being enforced now somehow. I don't know, but um, so it makes it more probable that he'll turn up, but we still don't know. So we're just hanging out at three in the morning. In the jungle. In the jungle. <laughs> I think here he comes. He's like three, it's 3.30, so he's really late. So we're in the back of a ute and uh, we're gonna head up to the volcano now. <laughs> we made it. Arriving to the base of Mount Yasua volcano in the dark, we began a short walk up the steep path. As we approached the top, the glow of the hot lava steadily appeared. Reaching our first viewing area, the volcano became alive, rumbling and spitting lava into the sky. Oh my goodness. This volcano is one of the most active volcanoes in the world, constantly shaking the ground and spitting sulfur, volcanic ash and lava into the air. Any size eruption could happen at any time and the last major eruption was in January 2016. The activity we viewed was rated as a level 2, meaning lava bombs could land beyond the crater rim, exactly where we were standing. The local people used to worship Yasua and called the volcano a god, making sacrifices to the volcano when asking for rain. We could see why they would think it was a god, as we were terrified and mesmerised by its power. What an angry beast. I'd be so scared to be living at the bottom of this thing. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Actual lava. Like <laughs> actual lava. <laughs> Beast!
That was absolutely next level. Volcano spitting lava. And ash in your and face. Ash and <laughs> got a tan so you don't choke on sulfur. <laughs> Whew. That is something amazing. We've been up since two o'clock this morning and we are rooted. <laughs> So we're gonna go have a quick nap and then uh, carry on with the day and yeah. do some more activities, hey Josh? It's it's a day for activities. It is, it is definitely. It is a, a day. day for activities. It is, yeah. Well done, Judy. That Good was job. amazing. From the anchorage, you could see this steam coming out of the rocks over here. So, judging on the volcano we saw this morning, thousands. Because there's like hot springs up through here, and so there's a couple of spots here where we're seeing this steam coming out, and so. We're gonna go find the hot springs, but we're gonna check out these ones first. How's that? They'd be fresh too. Ah oh man, we just met him on the beach. He's gonna take us for a little walk and show us the hot springs. He's saying there's some here where they do cooking and cleaning. Yeah, there's some along the headland too, so we'll go for a walk and see how we find them. We have no tide yet. Is that the water? Is that water? Is that boiling? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not so bad there. It's alright here. <laughs> It's hot, it's hot. It's so hot. I just burnt my foot. It's sitting in it. Oh no. What do you cook in the hot springs? Uh, a banana. Yep. Eggs. Yep. And how long does it take to cook them? Uh, 15 minutes for eggs and ripe banana. Yep. And the cassava maybe 20 or 25 minutes and done. Yep. Awesome. Tastes good? Tastes good. Yeah. So, so like you cook it in the rock pool or you take the water away or no, cook there. Cook there. That's they so make, cool. They weave a basket out of Ah. Yeah. No, I, oh. coconut leaves. Coconut leaves. Yeah. You put the uh, rocks in there, food there. Yeah. But the pot the edge, just drop. Yeah. Oh, and boil it. <laughs> That's so cool, mate. Our new friend Tawa, the machete carrying guide took us through the forest to a hole in the rocks where steam is constantly released from the ground. The volcano is over five kilometers away, but its presence is shown in many ways. It's very really hot. There's many islands. Yeah, yeah many islands. Yeah. Seven, maybe. When it rains, that all fills up, and bubbles over and flows down the hill and just kills everything. We continued up the hill to the top of the headland where different coloured clays were used for ancestral body painting. The soil was steaming hot to touch and another reminder of Yasur's presence. Is that warm? Yeah. yeah. It's cooking. Do you use that for paint at all? To, to make bowls or stuff or? Clay? That's when just this before using custom ceremonies. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 Used to paint, used to paint, paint themselves. <laughs> so hot, but it's still wet. That's so hot. That's so hot. Might need to find like a pool where it's flowed into the ocean, so it's diluted a bit. <laughs> we'll put some eggs in there, and we can hard boil eggs. We're so doing that. We thought we'd uh, cook some eggs in the volcanic boiling water. We brought some over. The rock that I'm sitting on is like really hot. It gets hotter closer to the hot water. And uh, there's ants crawling all over me. It's very slippery. And uh, there's random patches of boiling water around the place as well. So it's pretty dangerous cooking. Extreme cooking. Extreme volcanic cooking. That's what we're doing today. And uh, we forgot the anchor, so Yosh is trying to tie the tender up to a rock. So 
So what are we uh, volcanic cooking today, Josh? Well, we've got four eggs here. We're going to try to hard boil. We brought some bowls, spoons, good old Barbie sauce. Sounds like a perfect breakfast. I thought you were going to crack them in there. I oh, like poacher. Yeah. No. No. Eggs are going in the volcanic water. Oh, is he floating? How long you reckon? Oh, six and a half is a nice boiled egg, isn't it? I'll let him down in there and I'll scoop him out again. Oh, there he is! Quick, yeah. get him! Quick! I think he's popped. Oh, there's the egg. <laughs> he must have banged against the rock. He's definitely cooked though, so that's a good sign. <laughs> This is quite extreme cooking. We are both getting burnt here. We've got, ah. ow! We've got our bodies on the line for ah. some eggs. <laughs> <laughs> this is egg number two, Yosh. How long's he been in for? Been in for a couple of minutes. Couple of minutes? Look at all the other bits of eggs. <laughs> egg, keep it around. How do you like your eggs, Yosh? I like them runny. What are we going for here? We're going for a runny. Runny? Not full runny, but like all the white nice and hard and the, the yellow, the yolk just on the edge, you know? Just on the edge. So how long do you reckon we got to get that uh, today? Give us another 20 seconds, I reckon, seconds. and we're uh, cooling down and cracking. <laughs> oh, it's bubbling out here as well. Oh, we could put him in there. First volcanic cooked egg. He needed just a little bit longer. We'll get there. He's a little bit runny. Egg number three. We found a new little hole. We found a new little hole here, so maybe we can just use this little guy. Hey. Oh, oh. oh. Egg number three has taken a bashing. He, uh, he was sucked out to sea and he's at the bottom of the ocean now. This uh, volcano cooking isn't as easy as it sounds. Three down, one to go. I think I'm just going to have to man up and stand in there and hold him in there. I want an egg. Going in. Oh, he's in the shallows. So, it's all about the positioning. Yeah, he's not going to bounce around in that big hole. This one's the winner. Come on, I'm hungry. <laughs> How much longer? <laughs> oh, another minute. Oh my god, don't drop the egg. Oh. In he goes. Oh, yes. So we got the barbie sauce. Oh, that's good. A little bit hard boiled, but not a bad egg. Full time round. Jump in sauce on your bit. Yeah. Cheers. Eggsy. Eggs up. <laughs> there you go, people. Volcano cooking with uh, Sally Nanji. <laughs> Next time, bring more eggs. <laughs> Quick, take it. <laughs> We're off to see Nancy. She's from uh, the next village over, and uh, she helped drive us to the volcano this morning and invited us to her village so we're off to go and see her and uh, I think she's going to show her show us her crops and uh, some of the vegetables that she's been growing Nancy has lots of these backpacker style bungalows on her land all with amazing views of Port Resolution the basic treehouse bungalows are peaceful and quiet the perfect place to enjoy island life Nancy will cook your meals island style while you enjoy the surrounding jungle serenity. Nancy provides a much more personal Vanuatu experience if you are willing to step out of your comfort zone. It's pretty nice. Yeah, this one's pretty fancy. 
back in 1774, all of this here was underwater and Captain Cook actually sailed his boat up into here. Now it's um, all dry, it's quite swampy land. On Captain Cook's second voyage through the Pacific, he decided to stop in this bay to investigate the glow of Mount Yasua Volcano. Port Resolution was then named after his vessel, Resolution. We've just gone and seen Nancy and she's just given us this biggest gift. She wouldn't accept any money. She just was very happy and, and stoked that we come up to see her and say hello. She's given us all this fruit, we've got eggplants and bananas, lemon and carrots. Like She's loaded us up in this lovely little basket that she's handmade. Yeah. It's amazing. So the Island Tree Bungalow is here on Tanner. Check them out. <laughs> That's another episode guys, I can't believe that we climbed a freaking volcano. Yeah, that is an absolute force to be reckoned with. That's nature at its finest. Yeah. Next level. Yeah, so we've got a couple of new patrons on board, so we want to say a big thanks to you guys and big thanks to all our patrons. It's you guys that keep Nancy floating and us moving forward and be able to bring these videos to you. So yep. big thanks to you, Timothy, SV Farewell and Sugar Sitter. So good on your legends. Thanks for joining the Nancy family. Yeah, thanks guys. And uh, that's about it. So um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, like, comment and share our video. Yeah, we really need your help to help uh, help grow our channel. And that's what it's all about. So and spread the Nanji love. Cheers, legends. All right, guys. See you later. Catch ya. Bye.